The single color nail trend is not a new trend. You paint all of your nails one color except for one of them. The hands you've seen here have a single painted purple nail, a symbol to raise awareness about a very serious issue, domestic violence. It is a nightmare that affects one in four women, and it's not just women. One in seven men will also experience domestic violence. Rachel Goldsmith and Joanne Alexander from Safe Horizon join us to talk more about the pressing issue. Welcome. Thank you so much for having us. So Rachel, you're the Associate Vice President of Safe Horizon. Let's talk about how Safe Horizon helps domestic abuse survivors. Sure. Safe Horizon is the largest victim services agency in the country. In New York City, we have over 50 program locations, so we are in all five boroughs offering supportive services such as counseling, case management, legal services. We run eight confidential domestic violence shelters, and we also run the city's 24-hour domestic violence hotline, so survivors can call and reach out for support at any point. All right, let's talk about the campaign we were all talking about. It's the purple nail. Yes. It's, a, it's one fingernail. We can mm -hmm. just actually show. Okay. We, we all have it here on um, this finger here. Yeah. Our ring finger. Our yeah. ring finger. And what does it mean? It's, it's, this is the second year for the yep. campaign. So the campaign is called Put the nail in it. So we are asking people to paint their left ring finger purple to take the vow to end domestic violence. You know, the ring finger is often associated with taking a promise or a vow, and so we want people to take a vow to end domestic violence. So we ask you to paint your ring finger, donate to Safe Horizon, and use the hashtag put the nail in it on social media to raise awareness. And it is it doesn't mean that you necessarily have a direct connection with domestic violence, it's that you support getting the word out yes. and talking about it. And Joanne, I really appreciate you being here. You Thank are a domestic you. abuse survivor. Yes, I am. And um, tell me why this campaign means so much to you. It's extremely important to me because I have a seven-year-old daughter. And then what better way to talk to her about vi domestic violence than to nail polish. So when, um, when she realized that I only have one ring finger that is um, purple, then she asked me about it. And then that was my way of talking to her and then just letting her know that no one should abuse you or hurt you and it's just an easy conversation to have with any children and your story is so interesting because we always talk about this can happen to anybody yes you're a social worker so yes. you were helping women who were going through this before women it happened to you yes um, I was and uh, in my classes I'll always teach um, the people that are in the class to call 1-800-621-HOPE and sometimes people would forget or don't understand and I would say well you know what you could think about June 21 hope and I found myself calling that same number to help myself and then just letting them know that I was just attacked on the street by my ex-husband and just hearing a comforting voice at the end was so important to me because so many times I would call it for other people and I was calling for myself mm -hmm. and Safe Horizon was out there to help me and I'm so thankful that I made the call just so I could help out, get help. Thank you for sharing your story. <laughs> you were also discussing that, you know, once you leave the abuser, it doesn't end, especially when you have children involved. Right. You know, I think people think uh, an adult leaves a relationship and it's done. It's over. There's no more abuse. But if you have a child with that person or children, you're going to see that person. Yeah. You're going to have to talk about play dates, school, homework, vacations. And this is a person who's been abusive to you. And so it's important to remember that survivors may need support after they leave the relationship. It's not just that it ends. And so at Safe Horizon, we see a lot of people coming and asking for additional support just through co-parenting through ongoing life that they're going to have to deal with this abusive person. Wow. Thank you so much for all the work you do. Oh, thank you. And Joanne, thanks for sharing thank your story. You. All right, to find out more about Safe Horizon and the Put the Nail in It campaign, head to our website, cbsnewyork.com.